Hey there, uh, it's June, uh, June 21st, Tuesday, 2022. I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals, astrology, H-E-A-L-S.com. And uh, I am excited to help you with more unshakable self-care that astrology can help you with. So uh, today, um, the moon is in Aries. The moon went into Aries last night, my time, which is U.S. Pacific time. And uh, after, uh, immediately after it formed an exact uh, third quarter moon uh, with uh, the, the sun, which is in Gemini, about to go into Cancer. So in other words, um, the third quarter moon was exact right at the moment before the moon went into Aries and the sun went into Cancer. So, uh, so we um, have this shifting energy, this discomfort. I talked yesterday about the possibility of overwhelm and sort of how to manage some of those feelings if they are coming up for you. Um, it's important to recognize that these things happen. Like we tend to see them as personal failings, but it's actually the energies and how they're moving and unfolding. And just because we're not as aware of what's going on and what it's actually doing for us and how it's helping us. And so as we're being invited to lose touch a little bit with the moon in Pisces yesterday and the day before, losing touch a little bit with, um, with some feeling of clarity or uh, what keeps us grounded, what that's doing is it's helping us to open our hearts to a bigger picture of unconditional love and belonging. So um, we can block that for ourselves by, um, by our beliefs and by the uh, patterns that we tend to go into that help us, um, that help reinforce our failings. And, uh, you know, where, where we have somehow made a mistake or done something wrong because we're not understanding that the natural flow of energy is saying, yeah, let go a little bit of the physical world and uh, the things that keep you grounded, because that's actually going to help you um, expand into some new possibilities and connect with a bigger picture that uh, spirit might be able to help you with. <laughs> so then the moon goes into Aries, which is the sign of action, of courage, of warriorhood. It is also, of course, the sign of, uh, of, of aggression, of violence, uh, bullying, some of those kinds of things. So we might be hearing again some stories in the news. And, um, and if uh, if some of that uh, overwhelm of the last day is present inside of you, then you may um, be now feeling the need to move that energy. And so feelings might be coming up that are um, feeling a little out of control or um, some anger or some need to move. So uh, honor that, you know, find safe ways uh, and be aware of what's going on inside of you so that you can take care of yourself and not take it out on other people. And know that if it's coming out from other people, it's not personal. It's just them not really having a grasp on, you know, or they're in the process of learning how to manage those energies. So, uh, so the more we can just kind of all collectively breathe and go, you know what, this is just us figuring this out, it's going to be okay, um, the more we can kind of support ourselves to continue to grow in our, in our capacities to manage these different energies. Now, we also have the sun going into Cancer because today is the summer solstice. And we have this new infusion of feelings, and that could be working in tandem with the uh, Aries energy and the moon moving past Jupiter in Aries, which just brings expansion to that need to the drive, the urge, the impulse, you know, the willingness to um, 
uh, say or do things that you would maybe normally censor a little bit more. So that's up at the same time as the sun is going into cancer and making us feel a little more emotional or uh, have some of those emotions be uh, moving through us. And again, you know, it's about working with it, knowing how to manage it and uh, understanding ourselves and our process and how these things unfold for us. So, um, so cancer is also the sign of self-care and taking care of yourself, taking a step back from any uh, impulsive actions you might want to take. Um, you know, sometimes impulsive actions are good because they break the meniscus, they help us get through to um, somewhere that we weren't getting to uh, because we were silencing ourselves or holding ourselves back. So the Aries energy actually helps us move in that way, but it can also um, be that impulsive force that causes us to do something that we might regret. So take that time to. Um, uh, you know, put the brakes on or reflect a little bit on, you know, is this really what I want to do? And if you already did it, that's okay. Send yourself love because it's all about caring and it's all about the present moment. Like I was talking about last week, it's all about what we do in the now, not what we did already. So how can you take care of yourself now? How can you make it right now? How can you uh, get your needs met and get your cup filled up so that you can uh, be your best self to uh, remedy or, or just be your, your most creative, capable self? Awesome. So uh, enjoy the Aries moon, have fun, <laughs> uh, get, get out and move and dance and exercise and uh, let yourself experience things. This is a good time for taking some risks. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's astro vibe of the day. I will be back tomorrow and thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye for now.